I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. How many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business dealings? Yes, I stand by that statement. There's not a single solitary thing anyone said that was done wrong. I don't discuss business with my son because I don't want to have any knowledge of any, I, I don't want to be accused of, well, you talk with your son or you talk with your whomever. And so the fact is, though, everybody's looked at that. He did nothing wrong. Zero. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters, and I've never discussed them because they know where I have to do my job and that's it, and they have to make their own judgments. Why was it appropriate when you were the vice president for him to have foreign investments? Well, the fact is, I was unaware of his investments until it occurred, and I've never discussed what my son's business with him. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. I have not had, a, the only guy made money from China is this guy. He is the vice president of the United States, and his son, his brother, and his other brother are getting rich. They're like a vacuum cleaner. They're sucking okay, up President money. Okay, President Trump, place thank you. We do Not need to true. move on. Hunter Biden's business associate sent over a million dollars to three of their family members. Any reaction to that report? That's not true. How involved were you in your son's Chinese shakedown text message? Were you sitting there? It's were you involved? Were you involved? No, involved? I wasn't. I don't were you? Know. Were you? No. There's this testimony now where one of your son's former business associates is claiming that you were on speakerphone a lot with them, talking business. Is that what? I never talk business to anybody. And I, I know you'd have a lousy question. Well, what do you, it's, why is that a lousy question? Because it's not true. Well, it's finally happening, folks. The House will vote next week on formalizing its Biden impeachment inquiry, uh, Speaker Johnson says. While some Republicans are worried of holding a vote on the inquiry, Johnson said the House needs to exercise its authority to the fullest amid a standoff with the White House over requests for information related to Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. We have this article published yesterday in the Gateway Pundit, breaking Hunter Biden's business entity, Awasco, made direct monthly payments to Joe Biden with receipts. House Oversight Chairman James Comer on Monday released subpoenaed bank records revealing Joe Biden received direct monthly payments from Hunter Biden's business entity, Owasco PC. Hunter Biden is currently under federal investigation for using Owasco PC for tax evasion and other crimes. Joe Biden has been repeatedly, uh, or Joe Biden has repeatedly claimed he never took a dime from China it was never involved in his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. Biden, in a catch-me-if-you-can moment, taunted reporters in October inquiring about his family corruption and asked, where's the money? Well, I think we're, we're finding the money. Um, Hunter Biden's investment vehicle, Owasco, made direct payments, screenshots below, to Joe Biden according to newly obtained bank records. And um, I believe his son Hunter was paying him um, several hundred dollars a month um, from a you know from a company that received money from China. Uh, payments from Hunter's business entity are now a part of the pattern revealing Joe Biden knew about, participated in, and benefited from his family's influence peddling schemes. Chairman Comer said. So the um, uh, uh, the evidence just keeps uh, piling on. And um, there's going to be more coming out. Don't you wonder what the hell is taking so long? Why are they slow walking uh, the impeachment of Joe Biden as he completely destroys this country and takes the free world with it? Um, there's several impeachable offenses that Joe Biden has done, and I don't know why they haven't jump, jumped all over him, but let's, let's just go through some that I can think of. How about this impeachable offense? Leaving $85 billion of America's state-of-the-art war equipment to one of America's enemies, the Taliban, 
let alone Joe Biden pulling out our military first before removing Americans, citizens, and causing the unnecessary death of 13 of America's military men and women. Remember, remember Joe Biden looking at his watch as their flag draped coffins were carried in front of him? That seems like an impeachable offense to me. Or how about allowing tens of millions of illegals to invade our country? People who are bringing in fentanyl into America, robbing, murdering, and human trafficking. That seems like an impeachable offense, right? Or what about Joe Biden allowing the Chinese communists to fly a spy balloon across continental America to reconnoiter strategic targets here in America? That seems like an, an impeachable offense to me. Or what about Joe Biden's son allegedly taking millions from the Chinese communist before he, he was paid money monthly by his son after he's on record saying he had no dealings with his son. This seems like an impeachable offense. And this is the one the House is focused on. But why aren't they going after him on all the impeachable offenses? Joe Biden has sold out our country time and time again. I truly hope this isn't more smoke and mirrors by the wishy-washy Republicans and that they are actually going to impeach him. Alexander Hamilton wrote in Federalist 69, the President of the United States would be liable to be impeached, tried, and upon conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors removed from office and would afterwards be liable to prosecution and punishment in the ordinary course of law. The person of the King of Great Britain is sacred, inviolable. There is no constitutional tribunal to which he is amenable, no punishment to which he can be subjected without involving the crisis of a national revolution. In this delicate and important circumstance of personal responsibility, the President of Confederated America would stand upon no better ground than, than a governor of New York or upon worse ground than the governors of Maryland and Delaware. Hamilton rightfully knew we would need a mechanism to remove a destructive, if not outright criminal, president. And his threshold to impeach a president was being convicted of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. I think Joe Biden more than meets those criteria, right? Anyways, um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I, I like reading your comments. I get up every morning and I try to um, uh, breeze through them. I'm, I'm getting more and more, so it's it's kind of hard to read them all. But I, I, I make an attempt to go through and read everybody's comments. And if there's any trolls or anything, you know, I, I whack them. Uh, like whack-a-mole, uh, they pop back up again under a different username, but uh, that's all right. I can play the game. But um, I hope the House is actually going to do something because Donald Trump was wrongfully impeached with fabricated evidence, folks, and no one, no one's sitting in prison where they should be. Um, and um, just, just so wrong that we're, you know, we're living in these times where... Um, Evil is considered good and good is considered evil. But um, that's all I got on this one. But I'm, I'm glad the house is finally do so, doing something. Um, keep praying and keep prepping until next time. Sons of Liberty out. See you guys.